everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. I'm Chelby, if you don't know me. I have had a Facebook page since 2017 and this is how people perceive me to be. Even in real life, people like to ask me things like this. But guys, don't you think I feel uncomfortable to answer them? Of course I do. So today I'll be teaching you everything about sex in Thai that you want to know or at least you should know. But I'll try to avoid saying sex or any rude words in English but I'll add English translation to keep this video as short as possible and add more information that you won't be able to find in any book. So let's begin, shall we? In this video I'll be covering how to describe sexual intercourse, ways of saying erection, slang, and expressions. The age of consent in Thailand is 18. Someone who has never had sex is Sao Promajan for girls, but we don't really say Num Promajan for guys. Sometimes we say Sing for both genders. Kao Yang Sing Yu. Kao Yang Sing Yu. He is still a virgin, and the word virgin is also borrowed, but we pronounce it virgin. Promajan means virginity. Sia Promajan, lost virginity. Premarital sex is quite common in Thai culture. Nowadays, people have sex probably in the early age of 12 or 13, depending on the location. If people live in countryside, or uneducated places they have sex and babies in very very young age to cheat on someone by having sex secretly with someone else outside of committed relationship we say no die however this word doesn't mean only have sex but by flirting or seeing it's also considered no time. I have to say this because in your culture, you might have a different perspective of definition of cheating. I'll say them randomly, but you will see the red, yellow, and green symbol. Below when I say each word, the red symbol means it's rude and people might get offended. So please be careful of using them. It's like really hardcore. The yellow symbol means it's normal and okay to say. The green symbol means it's absolutely fine and sounds cute to say. However, people might differentiate symbols differently, you know, because everyone is different. But I'll try to explain every single of them clearly. So you know how to use them properly. มีเพศสัมพันธ์มีเพศสัมพันธ์ Pet means gender. Sampan means relation. This word is the most formal. If you want to ask someone to have sex, don't use this word because it might turn them off. Rogtittang Pet Sampan S T D Aukan Aukan. Most people know the meaning of Aul is to take or to want. If you say Aul Mai, it also means do you wanna Fuck. So it depends on the situation. The person you say this with, above all, is your facial expression. Mi a rai kan. Mi a rai kan. This word is softer than the previous one. You guys already know the meaning of me, which is to have. Mi a rai kan riyang. Have you slept together? Chan mi a rai kap kao mukun. If you want to say someone has had sex with another, say me kan. But if you want to address a particular person, say me kap Julia, me kap Stefan, Mani, me kap Tongdi, Non Dui Gan, Non Dui Gan. This one is just like in English, the literal translation is sleep together เรายังไม่ได้นอนด้วยกัน we haven't slept together แต่ฉันอยากนอนกับเขานะแต่ฉันอยากนอนกับเขานะ but i want to sleep with him though เล่นจํา 
จีเล่น means to play จำจี is a traditional Thai game so this is how to play จำจี so cute doesn't it เล่นผีผ้าห่มเล่นผีผ้าห่มผี means ghost ผ้าห่ม means blanket so to play the blanket game if you translate it directly it sounds innocence this land is the most safest way If you want to ask a girl to sleep with you, if you're not sure she will be okay with that or not, เล่นผีผ้าห่มกันไหมเล่นผีผ้าห่มกันไหมทำการบ้านทำการบ้านการบ้าน means homework. The hidden shiki meaning is to do something at home. สามีฉันไม่ค่อยทำการบ้านเหมือนเมื่อก่อนสามีฉันไม่ค่อยทำการบ้านเหมือนเมื่อก่อนเขาทำการบ้านเก่งปะเขาทำการบ้านเก่งปะเขาทำการบ้านเก่งไหม the same meaning บูมบูมบูมบูม I'm not sure where is this word is originally come from it's probably the sound when making love but the first time I heard it is from my ex and he's British I heard this word again on a street in Pattaya. In reality, people don't really use this word. The only situation you will hear this word is spoken is when locals try to offer you that kind of service. You know what I mean? Fun, fun, fun has the same pronunciation in English, fun. But fun in Thai means to shop something. Really hard and fast, like when chopping a tree down, it's going to fall down. Similarly to a girl that has to lay down before foreplay and so on. Fun is used for guys that you have to lie to a girl to get her in bed. You won't say this to your girlfriend. This word is used negatively. เขาไม่ได้จริงจังแค่อยากหลอกฟัน He is not really just trying to trick you. Trick means to trick or to lie, but it's a lot stronger than the word "go home." Fidgeting, fidgeting. It's fidgeting. It's a borrowed word from English. People age 50 plus might not understand this word. We say fidgeting gun, which means to sleep with someone. If I'm tired, come. ฟิตเทลิงกับเราได้นะถ้าเหงาก็มาฟิตเทลิงกับเราได้นะ If you're lonely, we can get laid. So the pronoun could be changes depending on the relationship between you and that person. If you want to master how to use pronouns, click on the link here to check out my video. กินตับตับ means liver, but this lang comes from To belly slap while making love. เมื่อคืนกินตับกันไหมเมื่อคืนกินตับกันปะเรากินตับกันทั้งคืนเลย Yet this word literally means to doesn't sound good, right? Yet is used when you are talking about sex that you are not happy with, such as the word sex that you have ever had, and talking about that to your friends. Close ones, but not rape. The word for rape is "kom kun." It also can be used when you want to show off that you already slept with that guy or that girl in front of a person that has a crush on them or seeing them or dating them. งั้นงั้นแหละไม่เห็นแซบเลยเคยเย็ดละงั้นงั้นแหละไม่เห็นแซบเลยเคยเย็ดละ He just not that. Good in bed. I already f***ed him. I already f***ed her. And it also can be used when you want to tell your friend about your random hookups. Yeah is a short way to say yet to make it sound softer and less aggressive. ผู้ชายสายเย means a guy who sleeps around or a player. Die, die. In English, you have get some, right? So in Thai, we also use the word "die" to describe having sex. Die, can't m i Did you get some? 
these are most common ways to say having sex however we still have so many ways of saying it but you will rarely hear it we don't have the Netflix and chill term in Thai. One night stand is also a borrow word that we use nowadays. Those words are verbs meaning to have sex. But if you want to use them as a noun, we have a phrase to use for that term, which is เรื่องอย่างว่าเรื่องอย่างว่าเขาแค่จะชวนไปทำเรื่องอย่างว่าไม่ได้อยากเจอเธอจริงๆเขาแค่จะชวนไปทำเรื่องอย่างว่าไม่ได้อยากเจอเธอจริงๆหรอกผู้หญิงอย่างว่าผู้หญิงอย่างว่า prostitute If you're seeing someone casually and you deny to your circle that you two aren't together If you say we're just friends we say เพื่อนกันเอามัน which has the same meaning in English friends with benefits but if you say we are just brothers and sister then we say พี่น้องท้องติดกันพี่น้องท้องติดกัน literally means siblings that barely attached these terms might be used for talking about someone's behind their back or it could be true we don't have the word for open relationship because it's not common in Thailand we just do it secretly if you google it the word ความสัมพันธ์แบบเปิด will show up even this phrase sometimes might not understand what it means extra material sex it's ชู เธอเป็นชู้กับสามีฉัน she is my husband illicit lover คุณมีชู้เหรอคุณมีชู้เหรอ are you having an affair so now you know where the word เจ้าชู้ comes from when you see someone that you uh, really like and get excited and turn on by them คุณทำให้ผมมีอารมณ์คุณทำให้ฉันมีอารมณ์ <coughs> meaning you turn me on but this term is too basic cooler ways to say are uh, ขึ้นขึ้นเลย for guys or you can say แข็งแข็งเลยแข็งเลย or แข็งแล้ว you don't have to use that word for that thing, your penis. Women say, แฉะแล้วแฉะแล้ว means I'm wet now. If you don't feel aroused, หมดอารมณ์หมดอารมณ์ means someone or something turn you off. หมดอารมณ์ปากเหม็นหมดอารมณ์เลยปากเหม็นหมดอารมณ์เลย Bad breath turns me off. What turns you on? อะไรทำให้คุณมีอารมณ์อะไรทำให้คุณอยาก Me personally when turn me on A British accent turns me on The slang term for erection is หิว Yeah, the word that we use for hungry หิวเหรอ? Are you horny? It doesn't really mean horny The actual word for horny is เงียน but it's kind of aggressive though if you use this word directly so try to avoid saying it and use all the words that i mentioned if a man has a problem with erection we say นกเขาไม่ขันนกเขาไม่ขัน we don't have a word for foreplay but when things are heating up we say เข้าได้เข้าเข็ม how die, how kim. If you are horny and playing with yourselves, we say Chui Tua Eng. Chui Tua Eng. It can be used for both gender. The slang words for masturbation are different for men and women. Girls say Tok Bet. Tok Bet. But for men, there are so many ways to say it. You can say Chak Wow. Chak Wow. Or สไลด์หนอนสไลด์หนอน There are so many sexual positions but some position Thai doesn't have words for them so if you're into some certain position that's not what I'm about to talk to you about so you have to describe it yourself and good luck 
The most common ones are ท่ามาตรฐานท่ามาตรฐาน or we say it in a casual way ท่ามาตรฐานท่ามาตรฐาน which is missionary 69 69 it's 69ท่าหมาท่าหมา doggy style ลิงอุ้มแตงลิงอุ้มแตง stand and carry ประตูหลังประตูหลัง a n o t six เขาชอบประตูหลังเขาชอบประตูหลัง if you give oral sex to a girl we say burn yeah it's an English word burn เขาเบิร์นเก่งมากเขาเบิร์นเก่งมาก he is really good at eating me out but if a girl giving you oral sex we say อมนกเขา or โมกเธออมนกเขาไม่เป็นเลยเธออมนกเขาไม่เป็นเลยโมกให้หน่อยโมกให้หน่อย Can you give me head? Good sex leads to climax with an orgasm. There are two ways to say it is ถึงจุดสุดยอดถึงจุดสุดยอด or set. But set it's more common. Set ไหม Set ไหม Did you come? When a man ejaculates too quickly, or when he doesn't want to, we say ล้มปากอ่าวล้มปากอ่าว Oh, that's a nightmare. If your girl is on her period, she might say เป็นประจำเดือนประจำเดือนมา or เป็นเมน which is a borrowed word from menstruation or เมนมา or a cute word is วันนั้นของเดือนวันนั้นของเดือน if you can't wait and must have sex during the period it's ฝ่าไฟแดง which ไฟแดง means traffic lights so the literal translation is against the red light when you are dating or having sex with someone who is A lot younger than you. We say, k i n d e k i n d e Yeah, eat children. So it's the same meaning as rob the cradle. All right, guys, this is for today. I still have a lot more to talk about. If you guys want to know, please let me know how much you want it. If I miss something. Let me know so I can do the second part. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and find it educational. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this to your friends, family, and people who you want to. And if you really, really like this. Video all and find it useful for you guys, and you would like to donate to my channel. You also have a link in the description below. You can put any amount that you think worth for your money. And I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Bye.